Hello again, it's Sam with Blind Shell. Today we're going to be taking a look at the book reader and library on the Blind Shell Classic mobile phone. So with the latest update to the Blind Shell Classic phone, we have a new section in more applications and it's books. It's just titled books. And in here we have two options right now. Book reader, one of two. Book reader, library, two of two. And library. Book reader, one of two. So these two applications actually work together. Um, book reader is where you're going to listen to your audiobooks, and the library, library two of two. is where you can actually look up and download free audiobooks. When you download those books, they will show up in the book reader, book reader one but, of two. but you can also add in books to the book reader manually. And you do this by saving audiobooks onto the phone. You can connect it to a computer or you can use an SD memory card. When you connect it to a computer, you simply drag and drop your audiobook into the books folder on the phone. Or you can create a books folder on your SD card and load your audiobooks into that. But in this situation, I don't have any books in the book player. Last book, one of three. No item. No Last books. Book, one of three. Book reader, one of two. No books loaded in, so we need to go ahead and download a book. So I'm gonna jump over to library. Library, two of two. LibriVox, one of one. And right now, all we have in here is LibriVox. LibriVox is an online archive of free audiobooks that you can download and listen to. Search book, one of one. And our only option here right now is to search for a book. Title, one of three. We can search by title. Author, two of three. Author. Keyword, three of three. Or a keyword. Let's go back to title. We'll try something Author, different. Author, two, title, one of, title. How about we use happy. Happy, loading, wild, Oscar, happy prince and other tales, one of 12. Okay, so we did get something here. Uh, the first one is happy prince and other tales. And it said one of 12. So we have 12 options in here. Let's click to the right to see what else we have. Wild Oscar, Happy Prince and Other Tales, version two, two of 12. Version two. Silverberg, Robert, Happy Unfortunate, three of 12. Wild Oscar, Happy Prince and Other Tales, version four, dramatic reading, four of 12. Oh, a dramatic reading. <laughs> so uh, you can see that it gives the author first and then gives the title. Mill, A, A, Happy Days, five of 12. And we can continue to look and find something that we want to listen to. But let's just go ahead and click on this one, Happy Days. Download book, one of two. Download book. Book info, two of two. Book info gives us the title, the author, uh, how long the book is, things like that. I think even what language it's in. But let's go back and download this. Download book, one of two. I'm just going to click OK. Download status at zero percent. Usually these are pretty quick, the downloads. Download status is 2%. Although this one might not be. <laughs> this might be as a big book. We'll come back when it's all done. Download is finishing. Please wait. Download successful. Download book one of two. Okay, now that it's done downloading, uh, we're taken back to the download option here. Now, if we go back. Mill, A, A, Happy Days, 5 of 12. And we go, this is just the title of the book. Go back title, again. One of three. Search book, one of one. LibriVox, one of one. Library, two of two. So now, the book is not in the library. That's, once again, that's just where we find and download books. Once the books are downloaded, it's going to show up in the book reader. So I need to go over. Book reader, one of two. Click OK on book reader. Loading. Last book, one of three. Last book. Books list, two of three. Now we have books list. Bookmarks, three of three. And bookmarks, let's, bookmarks. let's go into books list. Books list, two of three. Click OK. Happy days, mill, A, A, one of two. And there is happy days, it says one of two. Search, two of two. Or you could search, if you had multiple books in here, you could search for the one you're looking for, but we only have the one book, so let's go back. Happy days, mill, A, A, one of two. And I'm going to click OK on this. Read from the beginning, one of five. And we have a bunch of new options here. So we can read from the beginning. And browse content, two of five. Browse content. Now I'm just clicking to the right here to scroll through this list. Bookmarks, three of five. Bookmarks. Information about book, four of five. 
information about book. This will be the same information that was in the library where it'll tell us the book title, the author, uh, how long the book is, that sort of thing. Delete book five of five. Or we can delete this from our list. So let's go back to, uh, not go back, but let's scroll over to the first option. Read from the beginning, one of five. We're gonna click OK. Section one of Happy Days. This is a LibriVox recording. Move in book, one of three. So now we have two options to interact with this book while it's playing. I just click the OK button, the center of the directional pad, but you can also click the back button. So I'm gonna play that again. Now if I click the back button. Pause. Happy days underscore oh three underscore mil underscore sixty four kilobits. Zero ten of six thirty four. Three percent. So this the initial action is to pause the reading or playing of the book. If I were to click back again, then it acts like the normal back and it will take us back to our books list. If I want to continue playing this book, then I click the OK button. Playing. Happy days underscore 03 underscore mil underscore 64 kilobits. So the back button will pause it, the OK button will play it. Now, while the book is playing, if I click the OK button, we get some different options. Move in book, one of three. It says I can move in book. So this is if I want to jump to a certain section. If I click to the right now. Jump to percent of the book, two of three. I can jump to a certain percentage of the book. Say I want to jump to where the book is halfway done. Uh, I can do that. Add bookmark, three of three. Here I can add a bookmark. And this is very important. So if there's a, a certain section of the book that's important and I want to save that and come back later, that's not one of the automatic save points, I can do that. I can set a bookmark. Playing happy days underscore oh three underscore mil underscore 64 kilobits. Move in book one of three. So now because I paused the book using the OK button, now the back button is the play button. So basically whichever button you use to pause the reading of the book, the other button is gonna be the play. Now, while the book is playing, if I click left or right, I will jump to the next section. Section four. Section five. If I hit to the left, it goes back. One thing I will note is that the speaker is on the back of the phone. So if you're having a difficult time hearing the book, maybe turn the phone over and listen to the back. You can also put in headphones and listen that way. So this is a quick overview of the both the book reader and the library applications on the Blind Shell Classic. Both applications are very easy to use and very straightforward. So I would just recommend getting in there and playing around, seeing what buttons do what action. And very quickly, you will be familiar with it and have no problems navigating those two applications. If you'd like to learn more about what your Blind Shell Classic mobile phone can do, be sure to watch our other tutorials on our YouTube channel.